Hi everyone, welcome to The Last Drop. I am Chris. How are you? Hmm? March. Welcome to March edition of my whiskey diary. Um, yeah, what, uh, what, a, what a month March has been. Um, like you, yeah, what could, there, there's not much you can say. Uh, but yeah, crazy month, crazy, crazy month. From the beginning, started off really, really well, and then has just descended into madness. Um, so here, here's a bit of normality. Um, let's get straight into it. I've tried to keep it a bit quicker um, from now on, um, so I'm just like putting down notes of whiskey that um, are new to me, so give them notes there, and then uh, I'm just going to say what drams I had in the evening, so if I've had like a Lafroy 10, uh, then that's what I had, you know, I'm not going to tell you what the notes are for that, because, you know, there's loads of them out there for that. Um, so yeah, let's get cracking, and I mean, it's a cracking start, I tell you now, I really do tell you now. Right, so, into the diary. Into the diary we go. Started off really, really well. Um, I went to the old and rare um, whiskey show up in London. A uh, lovely place just off uh, Parliament Square. Uh, life of me, I can't remember what it's called at the moment, but you know, uh, go and check the website out and you'll see it there. Beautiful place, lovely place. Um, not as big as obviously the main whiskey show, but um, some really interesting stuff. Um, you pay for your ticket to get in, you get some food, and then you get, yeah, you have to pay for each dram you want. Uh, now, you know me, I am of the ilk of, you know, small prices, uh, the cheap stuff. So, yeah, went through quite a few samples so far. 13 samples by the looks of it, 15 samples, 15 samples of whiskey that day. It was a long day, took my dad up there, so um, he really enjoyed it. Uh, and I took some pictures. So by the magic of YouTube and editing, there should be some pictures appearing to my left hand side, right here. <laughs> we will start off with my first dram, which was a Glen Tockers. Ta-da! Never had one before. Uh, that was really nice, and I've gone. I've actually rated these. Um, so for me, this was seven out of ten of the day. So I've actually gone through, rated them as I thought. Um, but yeah, seven out of ten for this one. My next one up was a Linkwood. Funny story behind this one. Not funny, but a story nonetheless. Um, it was listed as a 1981. Uh, I was looking for a 1981 whiskey. That's the year of my birth. Um, uh, when we got there, I was like, yeah, where's the 81 Linkwood? Uh, unfortunately, they misprinted it, and it was an 83 Linkwood. Still had it. It was still nice. Uh, I think I gave it 8 out of 10, so that's good. Uh, next up, I didn't have a picture of that one, but next up is a Brora 13. Um, my first Brora. Uh, that should that's 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 going to be a book for Lady Bird, isn't it? Um, obviously, a small measure. It was uh, there was a lot of cork sediment in the bottom um, from the bottle, um, so there was a, a. It didn't affect the taste at all. Um, uh, so the guy told me, um, but yeah, nice, a good dram. Really couldn't argue that it was good, bad, or anything. Um, Seven out of ten. Next up was. Taninek, 23 year old. Ta da. Uh, good stuff. Gave it an 8 out of 10. Does look good. Next up was a old, quite an old Glendronic, 8 year old. Uh, so I was interested in this. Obviously, Glendronic nowadays is very heavily sherried uh, in pretty much all of their stuff. Um, this one, not as sherried as much as I thought. Um, so very much a spirit driven uh, Glendronic, uh, 7 out of 10, pretty good. Uh, next up, 56 year old Cognac, 
not many times you get a chance, not many times you get a chance, not many times you get a chance to taste 56 year old cognac. Um, so, so here it is. It was really, really good. It was 56 years old. Lovely stuff. Nine out of 10. Next up, or number seven, uh, Old Par. Now, I tried this. Uh, this was a 1956 bottling. Um, pretty old stuff. Uh, uh, like a uh, metal cap. So, beer bottle cap bottle, which was I thought was interesting. Um, really nice blend. Yeah, 50. So, yeah, well over 60, 70 years old. Um, really, really good. Um, Greg from Greg's Whiskey Guide. Massive fan of Old Par. And, um, yeah, tried this in his honour. 8 out of 10. <laughs> Whew. Next up, this is going to be a long one. Uh, long Morn 23. Really good. My first Long Morn, I think, as well. So that was really cool. 8 out of 10. Next up, one of my... Well, not one of my, but... Springbank 17-year-old Portwood. Um be said really really good honestly these drams just were really good i mean you could not argue with their quality um some of the first ones i had maybe you could but yeah the rest from now on are just you know fantastic um yeah eight out of ten next up glenn farkless city hunter label now i'm pretty sure this is quite a new bottling uh, of Glen Fargus, but it's great. I'm good. I'm a big anime fan. Um, not a big anime fan, but I'm an anime fan. Um, so this City Hunter bottle really appealed. Um, great artwork on it. Um, so just very, very rare, I believe, rather than old. Um, but cracking, like, um, good, I think it's 50 odd 6%. Um, good. 8 out of 10. Next up. Whew. What a list. Uh, Buna Harbin, 23 year old. Wow. Peated Buna. Big fan. Love it. Eight and a half out of ten. Cracking stuff. Next up. Woohoo! This is rare again. Not an old. Five year old Port Charlotte. My first Port Charlotte. Uh, Boom! Brilliant stuff. Uh, nine out of ten. Next on the old listy list, uh, almost almost to the second page now. So bear with me. Uh, is this Lefroig, twenty one year old? Uh, Lefroig, twenty one years old. Just lovely, lovely stuff. Uh, nine out of ten. Next up, next up, number 14, so we've only got this one, penultimate dram of the day, uh, and in fact my dad's last dram of the day, and it ended on a high, a 33-year-old 33 33 Um oh, it was so good, 9.5 to 10 out of 10, fantastic, absolutely fantastic. And well priced, I believe. Last but not least, um, is this Springbank 10. There we go. 8 out of 10. Yeah, it couldn't compare with the Kalila before. Yeah. Oh, well, that was the first. The first of March. That was a day, wasn't it? What a day. Uh, hopefully, thick and fast now. Um, on the 3rd of the 3rd, um, I got a sample of um, the Exceptional Blend from New Dram Drinker, um, which I tried. Um, uh, fruity tastes. Uh, and yeah, I preferred the grain. The, the, the Exceptional Grain, which you've seen in, in maybe other videos and stuff I've done. Yeah, not bad. I then had a Klein Leach 14, which I actually have in my glass here. Finally, 
Hmm. Lovely stuff. Ooh. First round of the day as well. Uh, lovely sort of zesty nose, bit of orange, sort of mandarin, clementine uh, And then the sort of... Is there a hint of smoke? Maybe a hint of smoke, but nothing like... It's more of a coastal, like, far-off breeze, you know? Um, and then again, pretty much the same on the palette. Um, but maybe we'll get back to that. Yeah, climb these 14 and Old Forester, plain old Old Forester for finish. Um, on to the fourth of the third. That was a filming day. Um, so I had Brooks Whiskey, McMira. Um, so I presume that I was filming April's. No, not April's, because that's this. No. That's the one next month. <laughs> Uh, I was filming February's, obviously. Um, good dram. It was more complex than the Mac. So, McMira Mac. Uh, fruity nose, hint of smoke. Very nice. 7 out of 10. Uh, skipping ahead to the 14th. I don't know, I've written February like as the month. That's why it confused me. Uh, Anok 12. All I've written is I hope it opens up a bit. Um, so this was neck pour. Um, pretty good neck pour. Not, you know, impressive for the age and the price, because I think I got it for like 30 quid. So, or less than 30 quid. So, for a 12 year old whiskey, damn, damn good stuff. Just another little sip of this Klein Leash. Hmm. Palette wise, same sort of zesty flavours going on. Um, bit of oak. Uh, quite a bit drying, maybe, and the echo does linger a bit. Um, yeah, good stuff. Uh, on to the 16th of the second. Uh, I had uh, some mellow corn, uh, which was a sample from Jim, the whiskey novice. Go and check his channel out if you do. Um, sweet nose, almost floral, I found from the, the corn. A um, bit spicy on the taste, very sweet, uh, quite a long finish. Uh, a good Kentucky hug as well, you know, the old, old Kentucky hug. Uh, and yeah, chocolatey on the end. 100% corn. Hmm, pretty good, pretty good. Not bad for at all. Uh, then I had another sample, um, which would have been from the lovely Mark Slinger. Uh, a Colila six-year-old Gordon McPhail uh, finished in hermitage casks. Uh, a <laughs> deep, dirty smoke. Yeah, we like that. I like that. Uh, such different smoke to Laphroaig and a bit of vanilla, a bit of citrus, tobacco, uh, bacony finish, medium bacony finish. A very, very nice dram. Well worth checking out that one. Uh, then on, pretty much had a big old gap. Didn't really drink too much. I think I had a couple of drams here and there of, um, sort of the Anok 12, um, and the Freud 10 and stuff like that. Um, but nothing major. Uh, had a little flight on the 22nd of the 3rd, so that was pretty cool. Uh, started off with an Anok 12, then hit up the Altmore 12, which I've got from Cadenheads. Beautiful stuff that is. I might crack out one open later on. Uh, I've tried a couple of the Klein Leash while editing this, probably. <laughs> uh, then the 12-year-old came had to blend and then finished it off with a Kilkerran 8-year-old cast drink, which is so good! 23rd of the 3rd, uh, delivery day! We all like a delivery day. Uh, Neck pour of Kilkerran 12 year old. Ah, ha, ha. Uh, I've just read, oh, how I have missed it. Uh, light pea, sweet and lovely. Ah, just a cracking. For the price, again, I think that's maybe sub 30 pound. Ooh, lovely stuff, lovely. Uh, then my second bottle that I cracked open was. Port Charlotte Scottish Barley. Uh, it comes in at 50%. Uh, 
And I've just worked well, okay. Hmm, darn good. Of course, loads of peat. Uh, and I decided to have a Laphroaig tent to compare it with. Uh, not as much TCP, there was a slight hint there. Uh, and the hub, but the higher ABV brought so much more flavour to it. Um, fantastic stuff. Good old punch to it. Um, really, really good. Really looking forward to uh, exploring that bottle more. Um, because I think it's going to develop a bit. Should be good. Uh, then on to 25th of the 3rd, which was a London Whiskey Club um, conference call. Uh, obviously in this climate at the moment, uh, we've got this going on. Uh, you had to have your best three bottles out. Um, my evening started off, you know, well, Anok 12, Altmore 12, Kilcarran 12. Uh, then I had some others, uh, the exceptional grain, probably the eight car strength. I think the Buna 5 that I've got as well, and I drank too much and was not very well. Uh, 30th of the 3rd, we'll skip ahead, bypass all that. Um, we'll skip ahead, 30th of the 3rd, uh, so yeah, I didn't drink for a few days after that, obviously. Uh, watching Jim's, uh, Jim Whiskey Novice uh, live stream, uh, he, his was all about Kilcarran, so I just had two or three Kilcarran 12s. And again, such a lovely dram, such a great price, and goddamn, great stuff, really good stuff. Um, so there, there, there was March. I mean, over in a whirlwind, what a blur. It's been crazy. Uh, I can't imagine April's going to be any good. I mean, April was going to be really good, wasn't it? It was going to be was a few events couple of events going on, cognac shows, been been and gone, um, that's going to be really good, I was really looking forward to that, but never mind, roll with the punches as they say, keep calm, stay safe, um, yeah, I think, yeah, let's look forward to April, um, best way we can go, um, stay safe, and yeah, obviously, hit the thumbs up, you know you want it. Uh, <laughs> subscribe because you know this content's pretty good I, I think everybody's enjoying this journey that I'm on uh, it's always interesting to see how people are going and developing on their journey I think I'm doing alright in March I've done alright tasted some old stuff that was pretty cool pretty cool uh, and with that note and that being said that my friends was the last drop